Well, hello friends, Mark Holmes here on this game day Sunday. It is already week number three in the NFL. Oh my God, it's week number three. The season is literally flying by. You know, I always say, don't get too excited by what you see in September. You really don't know what teams are what until you get to October. That's where you look at the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars. People figure without Nick Foles that their season is done. Jalen Ramsey, of course, wanting to leave. That that whole thing was a hot mess and about to implode. But then, all of a sudden, they get a victory. And maybe even find a quarterback with Gardner Minichu. Um, who, as a rookie, has had three really good games and now has Jacksonville looking a lot better. How much better? They say winning cures all. So we have the whole Jalen Ramsey saga where he wanted to get out of town. Last week he's fighting with the, you know, the, the front office and everything else and literally does not want to play. Well, turns out right now they don't have a deal for him. And they're talking about maybe an extension and paying him more money. So winning does cure a lot. Now make no mistake about it. We're doing our pick section. Picking teams that are going to win from week to week is damn near impossible. If you can get 50% right, well, you should be betting in Vegas because you'd actually make some money on these games. But it is really hard to figure out. Sometimes it's not always the best team that wins. Sometimes it's a team that gets a few breaks. You know, a tip pass here or there ends up being a pick six. Or maybe a fumble on, on a punt return or something like that can be the difference between winning and losing. Hell, Officials sometimes can change the complexion of the games. Ask the New Orleans Saints. So we're going to do our pick segment. Now, this is our first one that we've done this season because the first week we were actually in Dallas for the Giants game and having to drive 20 hours down there and 20 hours back. There just literally was not time here in the man cave to do that one. And, of course, last week we were pulling our hair out, uh, actually serving about 400 of you great fans at our tailgate. Um, so... We're actually slowing things down because we're getting ready to go over to Lucky's uh, Sports Bar and Theater to go ahead and broadcast our live stream from there. We'll be able to keep an eye on the Eagles game because the Eagles versus the Lions, I know that doesn't sound like much, but this is a really big game for those Eagles, and I'll touch on that a little bit later, as well as some of the other games on the NFL. So I'm going to give you my picks, at least for today's games, and how we look. Of course, our Dallas Cowboys at home against the Miami Dolphins. On paper, this should be a straight-up blowout. But here's the thing. In football, I will always remember that 1-15 season where we beat the Washington Redskins, a playoff-bound Washington Redskins. I know it's hard to believe, but the Washington Redskins at one time were a really, really good team and every year challenging for playoffs and Super Bowls. And our team came through at 1-15 without a Troy Aikman and ended up beating the Redskins. So don't sleep on the Miami Dolphins, but the Dallas Cowboys should be able to take care of business. I don't know if it'll be a 21-point spread, but I'm hoping that our Dallas Cowboys defense shows up and really shows off in giving us the first great performance of the season. So I'm taking the Cowboys. Eagles at home versus the Lions. Hmm. On paper, the Eagles... Two years ago, Super Bowl champions, and the Eagles, of course, being the most talented team in deep in football, as the experts have said. I'm going to tell you, don't sleep on the Lions, because the Lions, they got a tie against uh, the Cardinals, and I know that that's against the Cardinals. That's against the Cardinals, I get it, 24-24, but still, it was a tie. It was not a loss. But then to follow it up with great defense against Phillip Rivers, 13-10 win. And going into this game, the Lions are a lot more healthy, and I basically want to piss off Eagles Nations. I'm also going to take the Lions in this one. I think the Lions have a great shot. And here's the thing for the Eagles. The Eagles, they are really fighting. This needs to be a game that they really look long and hard for. They're beat up. They've got a lot of injuries and things. That age Philly, Philly, that age I was telling you about, older players, is kind of rearing its ugly head because they have to turn around and then go to Green Bay on Thursday. So this is a rough stretch for the Eagles. This game is really, really important, but I'm still taking the lines. Redskins versus the Bears. Okay. Thus far, the Bears seem to be a disappointment from where they were. They were one of those teams that everybody was picking and saying they're automatically going to be good. But I told you guys, understand that half of the teams that make the playoffs the year before, on average, won't make it the next year. And I thought that the Chicago Bears were one of those teams that played really, really well last year, but were going to be coming way back down to earth. And thus far aren't looking that good. However, they're playing the Washington Redskins on Monday night, and the Washington Redskins are abysmal on Monday night. You know, so I'm taking the Bears. New York stinking Giants versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Well, 
the Giants have been basement bitches for the last two years, and I see them being basement bitches again this year. I'm going to actually take Tampa Bay, but it's just going to be one ugly game. Tampa Bay actually has a really good defense. Jameis Winston, yeah, okay. Buffalo versus the Bengals. Well, Buffalo started out 2-0. and They're looking pretty good thus far, even though they got rid of Shady McCoy. I'm going to take Buffalo against the Bengals, although the Bengals have not been awful. Patriots versus the Jets. Really? Really? New England at home. You know what? The New England Patriots have it made with their division. Nobody in their division has been anywhere close to the playoffs since, I think, Rex Ryan. And New England at home against their division, Tom Brady is something like 45-5. to five. So, yeah, we're taking New England. The Browns versus the Rams. Okay. Um, <laughs> Maker Baker Mayfield says his team expects to make the playoffs. I think Baker Mayfield is no longer that elite quarterback that everybody thought he was. He's no longer Baker touchdown maker. He's more like Baker faker. Um, I'm going to take the Rams on that one. I think the Rams are just a better team. But don't sleep on the Browns. They are definitely improved from where they were. Uh, we already talked about the Titans since that game is over. We've got the Minnesota Vikings with the Raiders. Mm. we got Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins. Yeah, you think that the Vikings might want a refund on that, that $28 million a year? But we've got the Raiders, which are a dumpster fire that lost a third and a fifth round draft pick, getting rid of Antonio Brown, but I'd say getting rid of him was a bargain, just giving it up, because he is truly a team killer. I'll take the Vikings on that one. The big game, Kansas City versus Baltimore. You have to wonder, Pat Mahomes, has been playing at MVP level again, taking off, taking over from where he left off last year. Lamar Jackson has been like that guy that all of a sudden he's got an arm in a passing offense. I think Kansas City just has too much talent, and especially being at home. Um, Colts versus the Falcons. Well, the Falcons, they got the victory over the Eagles, but I still am not sold on the Falcons being a good team. They had three, and I mean three, turnovers last week against the Eagles. I think the Colts actually have a great defense. They're actually playing on the road, but uh, I hate to pick the Falcons because of that one Falcon fan out there, but I think the Fal Falcons will win on that one. Green Bay versus Denver. Denver, oh my goodness, Denver's just a bad team. We're going to go ahead and take the cheese heads at home. It's hard to root against those guys, but I will not say that that offense of theirs is elite anymore with Aaron Rodgers. I think Aaron Rodgers has kind of come back down to earth, um, as, so to speak, um, but we'll take the Packers. Cardinals against the Panthers. We know Cam Newton is not playing right now. Cam Newton, unfortunately, all of those hits that he's been taking over the years have, have, have made taken a toll on him. He was coming back from shoulder surgery. Now he's out because of his ankle. Um, the Cardinals, uh, the Cardinals. You got to take the defense in this one with the Panthers on the road. San Fran versus the Steelers. The Steelers definitely miss Antonio Brown, Le'Veon Bell, and now Big Ben. I think that they're headed on the fast track to a high draft pick. Unfortunately, they gave theirs up to bring in Mika Fitzpatrick. I think that that was a big, big mistake, Richard. I think you're going to look back and say we could have had a top five pick, grab the quarterback of the future, and now we got Mika Fitzpatrick. But I'm going to take San Francisco at home on that one. The Chargers versus the Texans. The Chargers need to rebound from that loss to the Lions where they only scored 10 points. Maybe they miss Melvin Gordon a little bit. We'll have to wait and see if something happens on that one. But the Texans, not really sold on them as well. Oh, boy, I'll take the Chargers at home even though they don't have a home field advantage. Saints versus Seattle. You got a marquee quarterback in Russell Wilson. You got Drew Brees, not there. Um, but you got a Saints defense and a Saints team that realizes we still have a chance. We got five more weeks after this week without Drew Brees. If we can hold serve, if we can get a win, a big win, it'll give us some momentum. And this is literally fighting for their lives. So I'm going to look at the caged animal at the Mercedes Benz Dome at home because they are tough to beat. I don't care who's there. So that's my picks for the week. We'll come back and we'll look at that out on Monday and see how bad my picks were and see how it goes. But I'm going to get my stuff packed up right now because I'm headed over to Lucky's. We're going to get set up, ready to rock and roll. I'm Mark Holmes, and thank you for watching the Joe Boo Sports Report. Now i got to go turn the camera off. See ya.